They're just killing it without actually hitting it. Oh, here They're comes fighting. the initiation from Bat Rider. The hook shot will miss. Looks like the first casualty is the disruptor. Zhao 8 getting chased out by Super. We see the lasso being applied now to Ferrari. He's taking so much magic damage. The Elder Titan ult just rips right through him. And with that, you have to think, well, LFY Monet getting pretty low to the primal split units. He's chasing all upon his lonesome at this point. Looks like Zhao is going to be the next death and burning. I don't think you can do this alone, my friend. Monet. Oh, oh so lift. close, but Brewmaster comes back into his normal form. That was huge RNG. Well, not RNG, but very lucky, very fortuitous. Now they could potentially still get it, I suppose. I mean, Lasso is up now. Ohio pops that Firefly, gets Thunderstruck. That's very nice. Won't be able to blink for quite a while. Afu with the Telekinesis to force that by Ohio. They didn't even need to use Lasso. Ferrari is just dead. Ohio dies before he gets off the Lasso, but this combination from LFY is devastating. A three for one, and mass buybacks have occurred, mostly on the side of Big God. If they can get this Roach, they can still turn this around, potentially. Ferrari pops that BKB, going to be stealing a lot of damage from Yao at 122 right now. Ohio, remember, he still has the lasso. He's going to have to use it here in all likelihood. He will. The homie missile to follow. This will be a huge kill onto Ferrari, and he's dead. And I think with that, Big God just have to get out of here. Primal Split was used, though. Not sure he's going to find much use of it now at this point. Here, a hook shot. It's applied to Monet. This could be a really big kill. That Shikuchi, or that, sorry, that Geminate attack is dealing so much damage to Monet. You will get out of dodge, though. Yao, in the meantime, Glimmer Caped again. There's no vision to speak of. But here's the Thunderclap onto three heroes. They're going to find the Elder Titan or the Gyrocopter. He buys back into the game. Eon Disc applied. Ohio, double kill from Burning. So many buybacks being expended. I think whoever wins the next team fight. DP ult. Oh, good. After all this, DP ult is back again. <laughs> all right, call down will be used on Roche. And Exorcism, like he said, here we go. They have to get this Aegis. Too much has been expended. Death Prophet's taking a ton of damage right now. Clockwork with that Blade Mail doing absolute work. Who's going to get the Aegis is the question. It's snatched by the Brewmaster. Cheese is still on the ground. Elder Titan oh. out with that ult. Monet with the Cheese will stay alive. And this is three dead in favor of LFY right now. The buyback from Death Prophet. I do believe literally every hero is bought back in this game at this point. And one last kill to finish this fight. Disruptor. The homie missile, he has three on him. I'm pretty sure he dies. Yes, indeed. Yo, Scott, it does. Here comes the epicenter. I think they see it coming. The double Boral Strike as well. They're going to clean up the Witch Doctor, no problem. Afu looks to be next. Nice force after the high ground. Sanking will live through the day, although the call down is going to be quite a bit of damage. Able to get a trade off there, but will buy back into the game. In the meantime, Roshan is taking out the Aegis Cheese to Burning's name. See if they can continue the pressure here as Ohio. Does get the gush up and still has Ravage after all this time. With that Sniper dead, I believe they're going to continue the pressure. Despite losing that Aegis and Cheese. Zhao 8 going to be chased down by Monet. The Ravage is there. We'll connect on two heroes. Looks like Monet will get a kill. Sorry, a little bit of technical difficulties here as OD able to clean up a little bit. Four for two. And Rasa will be a complete team wipe. But the Aegis is popped. Burning, of course, no ultimate to use. And that is a triple kill for Super. A couple heroes. Ooh, Afu. All right, Purification comes out. He sure does. He's going to walk outside that kinetic field. Pit of Malice is there with the Firestorm. He's dealing a lot of damage. Metamorphosis popped by Monet. Freeze is able to get off that Requiem of Souls. Yao trying to song, but not able to do so. The stuns come out beautifully, and here comes the actual team fight. Static Storm applies, and the Purification just finishes off Terrorblade in quick succession. It's a four for one. They do lose to Shadow Fiend, but Super might come on big Sonic Wave. But again, it's a 1v5 situation, or 1v4 situation. It's not going to happen. Gand, and they know for sure. Grapnel comes out into the pit, giving them the vision that they need. Here comes the initiation onto Terrorblade, but the Glimmer Cape might save him along with the Repel, so it's going to be wasted. A beautiful Avalanche onto two. They're going to clean up the Omni Knight as well. It's a two for one with the Sand King falling on the other side. Storm zipping around left, right, and center. See if you can find anybody else. Still has a decent amount of mana left. The sniper dies, apparently. Freeze continuing onto Monet. See that Scotty doing work against him. Not a whole lot. He can barely even attack through it. A four for two. And Vichy J Thunder will just finish off Roche. And a regenerate. Oh, no, it's taken. That could have been <laughs> either. Play. 
Fnatic are trying to split push bottom and mid. Uh, I think they're going to check Roche now with Abed running over there. How close is this to death? It's dead already. Raven's got the Aegis. And now it's time to fight. DJ Toss have a combo. They're looking for Samage. Samage barely alive. Gets off the GA in time. The Static Link coming in. They've already dropped Pylai Die down. They're looking for more Black Hole. On to two from Universe. Where's the follow-up, though? It's just him alone. And it's not going to be enough. Universe is going to get turned on. It's three dead on the side of Fnatic. And Universe going to get dropped down. Raven gets the triple kill. What a turnaround. And are you kidding me? The Omni Knight lived? Are you serious? He was like at like 20 HP or something ridiculous. I cannot believe as him. The sure. Illusion's gonna send, All right. you know, uh, you know, I don't even know where they're going to send this. Raven pops the Mask of Madness. Look at the flat cannon damage. Actually, he's doing some serious work. DJ getting pretty low. They're going to take the tier 3 tower. They pop the Elder Dragon for him. Silver Edge is available. Toss back from DJ. They're going to try to find Raven. That's going to be the Aegis. No, the Purification keeps him alive. The Static Link now gets dropped down. They have the Tombstone there. Abed's going to Timber Chain, and they still don't have the Black Hole for another 36 seconds. If they want to keep going, they can. They bought back on DJ, Armel. He doesn't have a BKB to fall back on at this point, nor an Aegis. He's going to get tossed back. This is trouble. They've got the Avalanche. They've got a lot of damage to call down the Purification. They need to repel. They'll bring him down. It's going to be the Timber Chain that does the job. DJ in trouble. About to die back. They've got Abed, though. They're going to get this kill. He can't Timber Chain away. He's dead for 36. And the DK absolutely fine with dying there. Three down for Fnatic. They have to buy back into Pile I Die. The melee racks is gone. The range will fall shortly thereafter. What a counter initiation from TNC. And they might just be able to get the second set of racks and get ever so close to that game three. I think I'm starting to see why TNC buying a gem at some point is going to be really important. I was just going to say, Vision is another advantage. They actually saw a smoke that Fnatic were using because of a mid lane ward. And now they're going to use their own smoke knowing that uh, Fnatic's is done. Oh. They're Abed walks right down somebody. into them. And Abed is the one that's going to get caught, and he is dead. Hand of God comes in way too late. Song of the Siren, they're going to try to find a sleep onto Envy, and they do. And this is a big target. They should have Static Storm available. They do. They're going to drop it down, potentially. They might not even need it. They're going to try to Dark Rift back, and they get it in time. The Glimpse comes in, but it's onto DJ, and it actually brings him further away. Universe actually was able to get out of the song, precast the Dark Rift, and the perfect timing window gets him out of there, and Envy along with it. And in the meantime, the top... Tier 3 tower getting assaulted by Tim's. And he's, uh, or rather, getting assaulted by the creeps, the Chen creeps of DJ. And Tim's will try to deal with it. Meanwhile, back mid, they've got the root. Earth Spike comes out. Armel looking for Pylai Die, and he might find him. He's got the sand. He's not dropping him. Static Storm. They're going to find Universe. They're fighting too much. The Eclipse comes in. They've got the Astral onto Envy to set up another kill, potentially. Purification up into Envy is just dead. I cannot believe Fnatic walked into that, and they just lost pretty much everybody. They might only get this Disruptor out of this. He will maybe die. They, they, they're going to continue to spam these heat-seeking missiles. He's still not dead yet. They can give him another purification and a repel. And they actually can't get this disruptor. They're going to chase up the high ground. The ancient Prowler Shaman's come down from the, the high ground to get off at least one nice of those spike. roots. That was a pretty good hurricane fight from Armel as well. Now Envy getting jumped on. They've got the root. No sanity is available, but they've got the repel into Armel. That's one dead. There's the kinetic field. Static storm. Abed's gonna fall. It's all, all right. unraveling for Fnatic. They're gonna lose three, and they might lose potentially more. They get the glimpse back into Pile I Die. They're gonna get a fourth kill. The Earth Spike will save him for now, but he's still in trouble. Sam H chasing him down. They've got a force in a few seconds. In fact, they've got it now, but they just need one auto attack. They're gonna try to find a fifth universe. Trying to dark rift away. It's gonna be in time. It will not. All five dead. Fnatic. It is just unraveling right in front of them, and now it is high ground push. Fly with the Maledict. We're trying to try and bring him down, but gets Avalanche, TP's out, Jones Farm gets a few extra right clicks in. He fly trouble. away, he, he wants to kill. Fly. Not quite dropping low, the Rocket Brush. Almost trapping Jones Farm now, Salve kind of messed up, so he will fall. <laughs> Meanwhile, no tail. Once again, dropping to the same combo as before, one would think. Unskin and Frost. That is, uh... That is not ideal. Two per flame for no tail. No yeah. far. Like three no times era. in a row like that. He's top right now, in fact. Era pushed back and gets the heal off. Verify is this is gonna be enough. Not quite as for even without the time lock gets the kill. They will trade for Jarek, but Hanskin. Well, guess have some extra support from Jonas and Farm jaunting across to no tail. He's dying a fourth time, Damn. maybe! The self keeping him alive for second self! <laughs> the third right click, another one is necessary, but can he juke? Can he jive? He cannot! Or oh, can he? The stun coming through from Jarex! Not gonna be enough! Now his four, he's in trouble, doesn't have the cyborg! He's gonna go right click down, double kill for the puck! What is yeah, happening here? The toss coming through, they're not even done yet, Jarex. He does have another roll in a couple of seconds and. Does have some boots, but there's also an orb to silence the right click triple kill for the Yona some fun puck. Air on bottom. Oh god, it's not even stopping, is it? Alright. 
Yes, Fairy fire again, does have the south, but the Maldek is too powerful. Together. Few will always be able to come back and just run them over when they use their spells. But Oji's yeah, right. gonna seal it away from them. He's running in, he's gonna get this kill, slow down though by the right clicks, does be, is is ulted up. He doesn't even have lifesteal to work with. He should still be dead here. Shouldn't he? Nah, you can yeah. imagine, yeah. Resolution only have to kill Pablo. They might find an ulti here with big and they get it. Resolution, turning things around. Nice little stun there from Jerex. With the magnetite, but now Frost coming into the fray and throwing it in his right legs. They have to dust onto S4. Does have another uh, another jump. Still gets stunned up though. Drag back, brought down. Double kill for Hardskin of all people as well. He's doing what Oracle had been doing since the dawn of time. Steal kills with the purifying flames. He's in this himself, so this could turn into something crazy if they ran into each other. But for now, resolution wants blood. Oh, he does indeed. That is the silence coming through. Now they're initiating straight into the face's void, Great taking storm. him out immediately. Great start indeed, Oracle. Well, perfect for OG's equally well. important kill for OG. Now, who can get out? Eon's final, but Frost wants to get back in. Blinks across. Era starts wrecking away. Jerex is down for the count. Pablo takes his assassination, but now resolution. That's a big Come boss here. Running down Era, trying to under target Frost as well, but both of them will end up dropping. Eon's trying to do what he can. Three for four trade at this point, though, as he's desperately trying to make his way out. Does have another phase shift. Needs to live. With the gem, does have to blink out, just barely another orb jaunt, the right clicks are there. Resolution super fast too, so they will run him down. Snag up the gem, a full five man wipe, OG. Even though they lost him. They also want to have him in the draw scouting with that uh, shadow blades. It's always inherently risky if you run into detection that you don't know about. Yeah. For now though, they're looking for something, they find error, walking up the high ground. This time he does have the old stance directly wave resolution with the BKB, doesn't really care. S4 finds a Chronos Spear on one. Pablo on the outside, they have some stuns in, but look at his power, look at his damage. The flus fly, but get everybody else almost. <laughs> kill for, kill for resolution. Double damage rune, butterfly. Not even 30 minutes since the game, that'll happen. <laughs> I think that they didn't manage to get the ward on the high ground for a tribe, so the flat cannon just hit all of their heroes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Can he find Costa Billa here? No, it's a hard kill. Needs more he, he's on his own. You know, generally you can kill intelligence heroes with this because of the mana burn, but he doesn't, he doesn't even have a mana burn learned. Yep. Oh, Razor's team. coming in though. But he's right beside the shrine. I don't know about this, boys. It's definitely... Oh, he gets the shrine off. It's going to be real close. He goes down in the end. The rocket is on top of him. Hawk in on two. Beautifully placed by Teola Corp. The poster flies on over it. And Tavo's in here. What's he doing in here? He wants out, Shane. Get me he out. definitely does. Stun hits. Oh, Tavo has the urn applied, so he goes down two. Beautiful play from SG. Duster comes in. Fiend's grip is available. Go is he going to go for it? He gets hexed up. He gets shackled himself. 40 or comes in from the bottom. HFN's trying to get the combo up. But he's unable to cause it. The battery assault during the Yules. They needed the Fiend's grip to finish the clockwork so badly because I kind of Finds. Oh. Nice stun to interrupt it with the carapus. Here comes the Yule. Oh my god, it hits. The Batrider goes down for free. Costa Billy's trying to fight HFN on the front lines. Well, he's, he's having a little tree, tree party. He's going down. King Ordi gets a nice carapus to end him. And that's a five man wipe. <laughs> they have some good vision. They have a sentry ward down. Two sentry wards, in fact. They spot out. Duster's here. Oh boy, King Ordi's moving forward. The, this is the day. Oh, he's dancing in and out. They catch him. He breaks in. He gets the carapace off. It interrupts the sniper. They get can they get the use combo? HFN gets a nice interrupt with the clockwork. He gets stop. Pico's still alive. Wait, JK. Because the Billy's doing a lot of damage, but King Ordi goes invisible. Tavo goes down with Aegis. Can they get the blink stun? It misses! Oh boy. But you know, it doesn't matter. They do a lot of damage. He's gonna walk. Carapace? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't expected to come out so fast with that. Uh, the talent, the talent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an ADR is gonna live in the fountain. No. Tanking it off to pieces. Oh, he buys back. What's the deal, yo? And he gets enfeebled again. He's having nightmares to the laning stage. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he is indeed having nightmares.